We'll were right outside the hospital. There's no sign yet of any royal activity, although the police are a little thick on the ground and perhaps just a little more touchy today about making sure everyone's in their right and approved places. We've come over to this side of the road so you can see the still huge and swelling media presence right there in the approved pens. Uh, but there aren't just journalists here, there's a, a growing number of royal supporters who are turning out here at the hospital in the expectation that they can be among the first to welcome in the third in line to the throne. And among them is a veteran of royal supporters, the man they call the Umbrella Man, Mr Union Jack, Terry Hutt from Cambridge. William will recognise me, which he does. I always get small. Uh, with the hope that I can give a girl or a boy the card and wish him well and pass a little comment. So you're waiting like everyone else? I will be here. Ready. Day and night you go home, surely? I'm here all the time. Is that right? You're camping here, basically? This is my bed. <laughs> you're a keen man, Terry. Thank you very much. He's hoping Terry gets the chance to pass on that card himself to Prince William, who, as far as we're aware, isn't back on base at the RAF station where he operates search and rescue helicopters from. He's uh, still got a couple of rostered days off. He's been playing polo over the weekend. said that he's very excited about the imminent birth, the fact that he has leave at this time, perhaps suggesting to some that that due date is extremely close and at hand. Uh, there's been a lot of attention though today, not so much on him as on his father, the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, and on his tax affairs. The estate, the Duchy of Cornwall, which pays for the Prince of Wales household, which includes William and Kate. It's worth uh, more than a billion dollars. It, its income last year was more than 30 million dollars, and yet it pays no corporation tax in the UK. One of Prince Charles's close advisors was being grilled by MPs about that, who are very twitchy about uh, matters. It's pretty topical here. Google, Amazon, Starbucks, why don't they pay tax? The royals have been drawn into that. The argument is that those funds are used to defray some of the very high costs of keeping the royalty going, I suppose, of, uh, of paying for trips like the trip down to New Zealand, which was partly paid for by the taxpayer, but supplemented from the prince's own income. And of course, it also helps pay the bills in places like this.